mentioned the future. Um, what do you see in terms of future? Hmm. Uh, you know, in a best case scenario, as you uh, look at uh, the next chapter of your life, uh, what do you see? Hmm. Well, in one of those uh, prayer times in that same dark room and in my house, I, I felt the Lord dropping in, into my heart uh, that the best is yet to come that he, he wants to bring to pass a, the, a full release of, of the call and the, and the anointing on my life and, and that this was part of the journey that he has allowed me to go through for, for refining. And um, Jim, if, if I can come out of this just uh, a little more pure <laughs> than when I went in, that uh, the process is well worth it. I, I'm already looking back and, uh, and seeing God's hand in, um, in allowing this so that uh, I can be closer to Him, for one. I can, I can empathize with, with others who go through difficult times. Uh, that I, I can see the, how precious God's Word is to me and, and know that it's daily, I gotta have to rely on that, and that truly without Him, I can do nothing at all. And so it's a more dependence upon Him, and I, and I, I believe that that will help me to, to bring a, a, a new depth in ministry and, and allow what He, what I felt Him, him speak to my spirit, a, a fully release of uh, His anointing on my life to, to speak into lives, to, 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 to share his word with, uh, with a greater uh, sense of, of his presence and power. I remember, uh, and I, can't, I don't remember his name, some old theologian that I was researching for one of my books, uh, saying just blatantly, we don't learn from our successes, we learn from our failures. Mm. Um, and often people who have gone through a dark time have said to me as a pastor over the years, as difficult as it was, pastor, whether it's a life accident or a bad choice or whatever, uh, as difficult as it was, I, I learned more about myself and about my walk with the Lord than I might have learned otherwise. And you know, when I was younger and, and perhaps a bit immature, I, I used to think uh, that that's a rationalization. That sounds just a little bit too trite to me. Mm. And, and I, I suppose to a certain extent that can, could still be uh, levied at, uh, at, at, uh, at that claim. However, um, very few have gone through the deep waters that you've just uh, that you've gone through, and that you are still resolving. I'm wondering when you refer to the Word of God, uh, has there been any uh, passage or group of passages or book in the Bible mm. or single verse of the Scripture that has really uh, come alive for you? Mm. Uh, many, many, Jim. The first one that comes to mind is that uh, you know, all things do work together for good to those who love God and are called according to His purposes. Those are things that we rhymed off, you know, through the years. But now it, it has a, a new depth of meaning for me personally. And, uh, and I know that, yes, I, I do feel I am called. I do love God more now than ever. And, uh, and so that the good must be on its way. I'm, I'm standing on that. Uh, there's a, a passage in 2 Corinthians that I uh, just reading the other day. And, you know, when you're going through things, different scripture passages, they, they just jump out, they, they go deep. And 2 Corinthians uh, 4, starting at verse 7, but we have this treasure in jars of clay. <laughs> what a treasure uh, it is to, to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus. But he does use these jars of clay, these earthen vessels, uh, to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. It, it is it is all God. It's, it's not me. Nothing I can do can ever accomplish and share this treasure uh, without God speaking to me and through me. And then jumping down, uh, verse 15, all this is for your benefit so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes on what is seen, uh, not on what is seen, but what is unseen. 
for what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. And um, I believe there, there's been a lot of unseen battles that have gone on in and around this whole uh, issue. Um, I believe the, the enemy of us all has been looking for a way for years and years to, to get a hook into this ministry, to, to drag down the ministry of Crossroads. And, um, and that was part of, of my, my weeping on my face in that, that room was saying, Lord God, let this not happen. Mm -hmm. And um, so the battle, though, is the Lord's. We've given it over to him. And um, I'm confident that in the future he's, he's going to see strength come through this for me personally, for the ministry of Crossroads, uh, a new vitality, a, a new vision in ministry to move on stronger than ever before because the, the battles are going to continue to heat up in, in the world. The, um, the need is greater than ever for, for sharing the good news of Jesus and um, we can't let the enemy have a foothold and we've got to be diligent. Mm. I think it would be um, a good thing, um, Ron, if it's okay with you. And by the way, we did not discuss this interview before this uh, interview. And as you see, I came with no sheaf of questions. I just felt that uh, I should sit down with a friend and uh, basically say, well, what were you thinking? Mm. <laughs> and I think that uh, Ron has um, expressed his heart and his thoughts uh, very well. And whether you're pro-Ron or anti-Ron, whether you're for Huntley or against Huntley, whether you are a follower of Christ or looking for any opportunity to diss Crossroads, I think that uh, uh, your, uh, your issues have been addressed. And that was my intent. And I appreciate the fact that Ron has answered as um, transparently as he has. But I think it'd be appropriate for those of you who believe in prayer to pray with me for Ron and for Crossroads. Will you pray with me, please? Father, First of all, I thank you for your sovereign grace and for the marvelous um, opportunity that every one of us has for new beginnings, a second chance. Uh, without that, none of us would have hope. And so in failure, Lord, we see our own failure. Uh, in uh, mistakes, we see our own mistakes. At the same time, Lord, we don't um, whitewash anything. We recognize that, um, uh, that we are sinners and ultimately it's against you, you only, that we sin. Even though others are um, a part of the collateral damage of that sinful decision making, ultimately we sin against you. And so Lord, we thank you that we have seen here an example of how one deals with those moments. And whether we are physically on our faces or not, whether we are weeping or not, oh Lord, we confess our sin. And we know that when we do, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Help us, O oh Lord, to be adult and mature in our dealing openly and honestly with our failings. And at the same time, hopeful and youthful as we look to a future unsullied by the past. For, O oh Lord, you don't live in the past. You live in the present. And so in all of our ways, Lord, we commit ourselves to you. For Ron and for Anne, for Crossroads, we ask, O oh God, by your spirit and by your grace, you will accomplish your great work. We do believe that you work in mysterious ways, your wonders to perform. And so uh, as an old friend and as a pastor, let alone as a, uh, a bench player here from time to time, I want to bless Ron, and I want to bless Crossroads and the Maines family in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, praising and thanking you for your great faithfulness. And if I were closing a prayer in a church, I would say, and everybody said, and we would all say amen. Amen. And Jim, thank you for that prayer. And thank you for the way you've, you've stepped in here. And, and Moira, you guys have done just a fantastic job. I've been watching from afar. And, and uh, for Dad as well, who, who has, uh, has done so much. And um, just appreciate that. And appreciate those of you who have uh, continued to, to watch, to, to support. And uh, I, my, 
my heart is full of the uh, of all the, the great support that I've, I've felt around me, and um, and next week I know it launches into a, a membership drive, and and Dad's going to be on each day. I think you yeah. are going to be on, and and so thank you so much for all that you're doing to help. Uh. Okay, thank you, Ron. <laughs>